हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द कंटिन्यूड पार्ट ऑफ द लास्ट कंसेप्ट दैट इज अरेज इन द लास्ट सेशन आई हैड स्टार्टेड विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ अरेज एंड कवर्ड रिगार्डिंग इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ अरेज एंड मेमोरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अरेज इन दिस सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन दैट आर परफॉर्मड ऑन वन डायमेंशनल अरे दोज आर ट्रावर्सल insertion deletion searching and sorting traversal means to visit each item of the array exactly once see the algorithm for loc is equal to lb to ub for loop starts from lb and ends at ub lb is the lower bound which is start of the array that is zero ub is the upper bound which is end of the array and it is n minus 1 so while visiting each element some process is applied to that element it may be counting the number of elements or printing the elements of the array consider this array which is having four elements with indices 0 1 2 and 3 let us apply the algorithm on this array initially loc will be pointing to first element of the array now first element is visited and some process is to be applied on this element say i am going to print the element in the next iteration loc will be incremented and will be pointing to second element 4 is visited as well as printed likewise the loop repeats until all the elements are visited and printed insertion is the process of adding an element into an array which is already having some set of elements a new element can be added into an array at any position say p and this p should range from 0 to n minus 1 before performing insertion we have to make a room for the new element so that it fits into that position so for that all the elements until this position are shifted to their higher order positions how it can be performed see the algorithm here for i is equal to n minus 1 down to p for loop starts from end of the array and repeats the process until it reaches the specified position what process is done here the element which is at current position a of i is shifted to its higher order position a of i plus 1 after that the new element item is inserted at the position a of p after insertion the size of the array will be increased by 1 that is n is equal to n plus 1 let us apply this algorithm by taking one example this array contains five elements suppose i want to insert a new element say 30 in the position a of 2 right now i can't insert this element as there is no place in the array so what i must do i must shift all the elements until this specified position that is a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 elements 40 50 60 to their higher order positions and then this 30 will be inserted to its position yes see here 30 is inserted at the position a of 2 and the array size is incremented by 1 deletion refers to the removal of an element from an array similar to insertion we can delete any element present at the specified position p which ranges from 0 to n minus 1 but the only difference is 
first we are going to delete the element from the specified position and then all the elements which are present below this position are shifted to the lower order positions see the algorithm here element present at the position a of p is deleted and copied to the variable item for loop starts from p and repeats until n minus 1 that is end of the array what process is happening here elements present at the higher order positions are shifted to their lower order positions after deleting an element array size will be decremented by 1 that is n is equal to n minus 1 consider this example this array contains five elements suppose i want to delete the element present at the position a of 2 so the first step is to delete this element and copy in the another variable that is item is equal to 30 after that all the elements present below this position will be shifted to their lower order positions that is 40 will be shifted to a of 2 50 will be shifted to a of 3 so after deletion what will be the result array size will be decremented by 1 searching is the process of finding the location of an element in an array there are many search techniques used such as linear search binary search exponential search interpolation search etc in this topic you are going to learn the two standard search techniques those are linear search and binary search linear search starts at the beginning of the array and it checks all the elements of the array it compares the search element with all the other elements of the array in a linear fashion that is one after another if the match is found then location of that element will be returned otherwise search is said to be unsuccessful see the algorithm here loc is the variable used to store location of the searched element at first it is initialized with the value minus one searching process starts from beginning of the array each element present at the position a of p will be compared with the search element ELE if the condition is true that is if match is found then position of that element will be copied to the variable loc otherwise the same process will be repeated for the next element until a match is found or until it reaches the end of the array in the next step value of loc is checked if it is changed that is if loc is greater than equals to zero then search is successful and the location of that element is printed otherwise search is unsuccessful now let us apply this algorithm to this example this array contains five elements with indices 0 1 2 3 and 4 suppose the element to be searched is 2 search process starts from beginning of the array so at first p will be pointing to first element that is zeroth element of the array one is compared with two it is not equal and then next element four is compared with two it is not equal likewise the process is repeated until a match is found now 2 is found at the position 3 linear search is also called as sequential search because it searches for the given element by comparing it with all the other elements sequentially that is one by one let us see another example regarding linear search the element to be searched is 50 comparison starts from the beginning and it stops as soon as a match is found and index is printed here
binary search works on a sorted array it searches the location of an element by repeatedly dividing the array into half let us see the algorithm three variables are needed b e and loc b is set to 0 which is beginning of the array e is set to n minus 1 which is end of the array loc is used to store the location of the searched element initially it is set to minus 1 division process is carried out inside the loop and the condition of loop is beginning should be less than equal to e array is divided by calculating the middle element using the formula m is equal to int of b plus e divided by 2 and then value present at the location a of m is compared with the search element ele if a match is found then the location of that element will be copied to the variable loc and the loop will be exited otherwise if the search element is less than a of m that is middle element then search process will be carried out in the left half of the array otherwise value of ele will be obviously greater than the middle element so the search process will be carried out at the right part of the array see whenever middle element is calculated all the elements which are lesser than the middle elements will be present to its left part whereas all the elements which are greater than the middle element will be present to its right part why because the array is already sorted hence we can search for an element either in left part or right part of the array by changing the values of e and b respectively this process of division continues until a match is found or condition inside while loop becomes false in the next step the value of loc is checked if it is greater than equals to zero then search is said to be successful and the location is printed otherwise search is unsuccessful let us see one example regarding this algorithm suppose element to be searched is 5 middle element is calculated first which is at position 4 since 5 is less than 7 so the right half of the array is discarded now beginning is 0 end is 3 middle element is calculated which is at position 1 since 5 is greater than 3 the left half of the array is discarded now beginning is 2 end is 3 middle element is at position 2 since 5 is greater than 4 again left half of the array is discarded now beginning is 3 end is also 3 then middle will is also at position 3 so we found the element 5 which is at position 3 sorting is the process of arranging the elements either in ascending or descending order there are many sorting techniques such as quick sort bubble sort selection sort insertion sort etc in this topic you are going to learn about insertion sort insertion sort begins with comparing the current element to all its previous elements if the current element is smaller than any of the previous elements then it is inserted in its correct position first it is assumed that the first element that is element which is present at the zeroth location is in its correct position the comparison starts from the second element if it is smaller than the previous element then exchange of two elements takes place otherwise no exchange takes place since there was only one previous element to compare the comparison stops here 
so after the first iteration the first two elements are said to be sorted the same process is repeated until end of the array see the algorithm for loop starts from 1 and repeats until end of the array that is n minus 1 inside while loop the comparison takes place that is if the current element a of j is smaller than previous element that is a of j minus 1 then exchange process takes place here if the current element is greater than a of j minus 1 then there is no exchange simply the j will be decremented and again it is checked for the condition this while loop is repeated until there are no previous elements left to compare when there are no elements left again for loop starts from i is equal to 2 likewise the process is repeated for all the elements of the array let us see one example regarding this First, 6 is assumed to be in its correct position. 5 is compared with 6 since it is smaller. So, both are exchanged. Now, 5 and 6 are sorted. Next, 3 is compared with 6 and 5 since it is smaller than both. So, it is inserted at the 0th position. Next, 1 is compared with 6, 5 and 3 since it is smaller than all the three elements so it is inserted in its position that is 0th position 8 is compared with 6 it is greater so exchange does not takes place 7 is compared with 8 it is smaller so exchange takes place 2 is compared with 8 7 6 5 3 and 1 but it is greater than 1 and smaller than all the previous elements so its correct position is position number 1 and at last 4 is compared with 8 7 6 5 and 3 it is greater than 3 so it is inserted in in, in its correct position that is 3 so now Next, we will see some of the applications of array. Arrays are used to implement other data structures such as stacks, queues. Stack and queue are not separate data structures, so they must be implemented using arrays. Arrays can be used in various sorting and searching techniques. They are also used to perform various matrix operations. Next, we will see some of the advantages of array. Array is easier to implement. That is, we can easily declare, initialize and perform various operations on array. Multiple data items of same data type can be accessed using single name. Array holds many data items of same data type under a single name, thereby reducing the need of declaring a separate variable for each of the data item. It is easier to access any element in an array using index value. At last, we will see some of the disadvantages of array. Number of elements to be stored in an array must be known in advance. Why? Because array is a static data structure. It means total number of bytes of memory are allocated at the time of compilation. No changes can be made at the time of execution. Suppose if I declare an array of 10 elements and if I want to insert 11th element then it cannot be possible at the time of execution and on the other hand if I insert only 5 elements only 5 memory locations will be occupied out of 10 the other 5 memory locations will get wasted. The next disadvantage is insertion and deletion operations are time consuming why because there is a need of shifting the elements in the array 